Welcome back and thanks for joining us. So we're going to be taking a look around this library, starting with this study area. That's where folks get strange ancient diseases by flipping the wrong pages with their bare fingers. Oh. Let's try it. Nah, I do different kinds of studying. Rows and rows of moldy old books. For some reason, they seem particularly unattractive. So I assume he's going to say nah to anything I try to pick up, but I am going to try everything, of course, as one does in an adventure game. I don't want to trigger any hidden doors or anything. I'm just here to pick up hints. Resume talking to the librarian is what we want to do, so we're going to do that last. Strange bass relief? They really went out of their way to make this place as creepy as possible. I think it's pretty cool. I would hang out in this place. No, sir. We're from different worlds, me and that thing there. <laughs> All right. Uh, popular book section? It's the popular book section. Apparently, all Daniel Maroon novels. You know, Vatican mysteries and all that. Not really my type of literature, but I can take a look at them. Just to be sure, he says he can take a look at him, and I'm gonna try to click it again to see if he does. I doubt he will. Not really my type. Okay, good. It's a dusty old book. Its title's really hard to read. I don't need it. That might be the Necronomicon. You don't know, my dude. Okay, what else do we have to interact with? The desk and the librarian. I believe that's it. There is a hotspot button here. I oh, there's a medallion up top. I don't really like using hotspot buttons in games because I feel kind of breaks the immersion. Part of it feels like it's cheating, and and I know that's silly because, I mean, some stuff can be hard to see in point and click adventure games, but it breaks the immersion for me, like seeing a screen like this. So uh, we probably won't use that a whole lot. We'll see. I'll try to avoid it, and if need arises or if I'm just feeling lazy. We'll do it, but... It's like that strange tentacled beast is watching me. Can't reach it from down here, and I'm not sure I want to. Let's take a look at the desk. That desk is literally blocking my access to knowledge. Not really. You could go through this rope. I guess I could lean on it while I interrogate the librarian but I'm naturally intimidating. <laughs> Stalking animation. If my detective cylinders aren't misfiring, that's gotta be the librarian. One would assume so. Evening. Good evening, sir. I like the zoom in. Lots of nice little touches so far in this game. We have a dialogue tree. I would normally say the name's this just to be silly. Um, is that his name though? I don't know. They probably said it. I don't recall. That's sad. But I think I'm going to say interesting library you've got here. Is it old? Because we might get a funnier response for this. Interesting library you got here. Is it old? Yeah, pretty old. It's old, huh? How old? Like, really, really old. You might even say it's ancient. Ancient, huh? How ancient? Well, it was established by one Jeremiah Orne in, uh, let's see, um, 18... Uh, really, really long time ago. Huh. Thanks for the info. Sure. <laughs> okay. That was played a little more straight than I expected. It's an old library. I mean, who walks into a library and just asks them, hey, it's an old library, eh? Let's ask about business. So, how's things in the library business? Ah, uh, you know, can't complain. It's a living. Those uh, electronic books hitting you folks hard these days? <laughs> nah, not really. People don't tend to read much at all anymore, so uh, it's all the same to us. Hmm. Okay, and now we'll introduce ourselves. The name's Katype. Don Archetype. Here to see about a book. 
Architect. Well, you've uh, come to the right place. Yeah, it's called the uh, Necronomicon. Do you have it? Oh, that book. Yeah, uh, uh, let me check. Sure, we have that. Yeah, they're all lent. All versions of it. There's more than one? Why, sure, you've got your... Oh, wait, you're talking about the real Necronomicon, aren't you? Yeah, no, sorry, that doesn't actually exist. Doesn't exist, huh? My employer seems to think otherwise. An ancient grimoire full of arcane writings that could summon powerful demonic entities and potentially fold reality onto itself? We don't really carry that kind of stuff here. Chances are, it's nothing but a myth, Mr. Katype. Is it just me, or did his accent, like, change during that? Ah, huh, okay. So, uh, let's ask him if he's too young to be a librarian. Aren't you a bit young to be a librarian? Uh, look, I can tell you come from a, a different era, but between you and me, that's straight up ageist. Oh, really? And that uh, different era business ain't? <laughs> Touche, Mr. Katype. I'm a student, it's a job, it's quiet, it, it pays the bills. Yeah, for real. Uh... <laughs> Let's keep this going. Aren't you a bit too old to be a student? Aren't you a bit too old to be a student? <laughs> I like the cut of your jib. That's something your type would say, right? My type? Now look here, son. <laughs> there it is again! Uh. Let's ask about the Necronomicon. No such thing as the Necronomicon, you say? Mind if I, uh, snoop around your collections a little while? I don't mind personally. You'd have to talk to Mr. Orne about the Rare Books Department, though. At the moment, he's really busy with some new arrivals upstairs, so you'd have to wait a while. But, sir, waste of time, really. That book is just a legend. An ugly, ugly legend. I don't believe him. I think he's concealing it. You, uh, wouldn't happen to be intentionally trying to conceal it from me, would you? I'm just a librarian, sir. As far as I know, the real Necronomicon is a myth. Sorry to disappoint you. You haven't been the first to come and ask about it, and you probably won't be the last. Definitely our most popular inexistent book. Who else has been interested in it? Everyone, from excitable teenagers to these freaky cultist types that seem to crop up everywhere in the last few months. Just when you thought Darkham couldn't get any weirder, these clowns come along and prove you so wrong. What can you tell me about these cultists? Well, they come in all shapes and sizes, can't really tell them apart. I mean, it's not like they waltz in here dressed up in ceremonial robes or anything, but you can tell from the way they speak, they're not all there. Hmm. I didn't catch your name, Mr. Kerwin. Buzz Kerwin. That's an interesting surname and an accent that I can't quite place. Yeah, I'm, I'm half Romanian. My mom was born in Transylvania. I kept her family name because it sounds cool, you know? Never get teased because of that? <laughs> no, no. For Buzz, on the other hand, <laughs> plenty. All right, Mr. Kerwin. I guess I'll have to wait. I, I don't get it. If you get it, let me know in the comments section why Kerwin would be a weird surname. Ah, uh, now we're getting a tutorial. Double click screen exit arrows to teleport. So I can double click over here. We should be done inside the library, so let's go ahead and follow their advice. It wants me to depress the middle mouse wheel button. Again, that just opens my inventory, so I don't know why they want me to do that. Maybe my diary's been updated? Let's look. It has not. Let's get this thing on the doorstep. I'll look at it first. There's a thing on the doorstep there. Looks like a package. Don't mind if I do. I do mind. 
If I don't. Okay, uh, let's, maybe we can open that here. It's this thing I found on the library's doorstep. Looks like a package of some sort. Indeed. Maybe you can open it if I click on you. Right click it's it? It's this thing I... Mm. Well, let's just leave. We're gonna steal that. No one will mind. Mr. Curran doesn't care. So I guess now we can go into Darkum. No. I gotta investigate the library first. Okay. I guess we need to take the package inside. Or find a way to open it that I am stupidly not knowing. Oh, we can look at the column. There's tiny graffiti on it. Stay in school. I guess it's an advice column. Wow. <laughs> there are nice pretty point. big things I'm willing to carry around, but columns ain't one of them. Nice pun there, game. We're doing this again, are we? Alright, my dude. I found this package on your doorstep. I found this thing on the doorstep. Were you expecting a package? No, not really. Let's see it. There's a note here. Oh, it's for you. For me? What, what does it say? Too long have you meddled in our business, Katype. Here's your chance at a bright future for a change. <laughs> is it me or is this thing ticking? Uh-oh. Wow. Mr. Katype! He's gone. He is gone. Was that you making all that racket, Curran? No, Mr. Orange, sir. Someone set off a bomb in here. I was about to call the police. Nonsense. You call this a bomb? You should have seen Dresden, son. Now that was some firepower right there. Clean up a little, will ya? I... Uh, okay, sir. Appropriate response. Wow. Ah. Uh, so I, I watched the trailer and I've seen screenshots, but I it's been a while and, and I, I don't like to study too much into games that I think I'll enjoy. So I didn't. And I, I guess presumably we're playing this guy now. That's cool. That's fine. Uh, but our library is a little bit toasty. Um, so we'll come back and see if we can do something about that.